After the excavation of the hole had been done, finally it was time to stand the panels up. God, what a job this was. Um, yeah, very difficult. We had to obviously drive all the, ramp, all the uh, panels down the ramp, uh, standing them up individually. They did sit on cradles, uh, which did help to keep them up. Um, after that, we balanced all the uh, panels up and held them with uh, wooden straps from across the top, as you can see from the photos. We did, had to do this all the way around before the concrete base or the concrete footing for the panel could have been laid to uh, hold them all in place. Working his way around, we finally got to the last ones. Uh, because the tank extends outside for uh, emptying purposes, uh, the last ones had to be lifted in from the top. Uh, JCB was on its limit, uh, but we did manage. Um, we needed a few more weights on the back, uh, but it went well, it went well. Tie bars were put in, all tied together, strapped together. This was to create a wedge shape at the bottom for the uh, concrete, which will be run all the way around, underneath and onto the outside. Finally, the tank was all stood up and in place, all secure. Concrete was laid. Um, we found it difficult, obviously, to uh, carry it down in buckets and we couldn't slop it down with the load all. So the best way I found of doing it was uh, we actually hired the concrete pump uh, to come in and these guys obviously pumped it all in around the edge. Once that had gone off, we created the, the floor, uh, putting reinforcing in the floor. The concrete pump came back. The guys in orange um, set to and they laid all the floor for us. This was a great help. It went really, really quickly. The floor was level and finally we had a complete base tank. Next came the pillars. Uh, because the tank is wider than the actual slats, we had to put columns and pillars in. This was to uh, carry the beams which go across the from one side to the other to carry the slats. We cut out the side of the tank. These cutouts were for where the sump for the robots fit. Uh, the robot sits on top of the sumps. This allows the tank to be actually level with the robots and gives a nice tidy finish at a later date. There was quite a large amount of work here. The one in the middle was the uh, separation passage. Uh, we decided to add a, a, an underground channel for this just to catch the slurry as the cows went through. All trying to keep things as tidy and as clean as possible. Now the tank is complete, it was a simple case of just lifting the slats onto the top and onto the beams. We also fitted the sumps at this stage. As you can see from the photos, they actually sit behind the tank and the actual robot itself, or where the cow stand, is actually hung over the tank itself. It's like a free floating sump, so the slurry runs straight into the tank. Next came the construction of the uh, robot rooms. This steelwork was made by a local engineer at Melvin Cars at Huddersfield. Things were really starting to take shape now. We are, now had to lay the bases for the uh, robot rooms themselves. This was so we could build onto the top later on. Prior to that, all the drains had to be fitted first. This will make life a lot easier at a later date. Also, a template was used to get everything in the correct position. Now that all the drains are in place, we started to prepare to lay the concrete floor for the robot rooms. This was a straightforward operation, simply shuttering around the edge. We had to hold the echo drain down with some pieces of wood because it intended to keep floating to the surface. But all went well, simple float finish at the end, all tie tying everything all together. Also adding the water pipes, etc. Everything was required for the internal of the actual building. Next, we started building the robot rooms with concrete blocks. We thought at the time that this was one of the best ways of doing it. There are one or two newer methods which are now uh, can be bought in a precast form, which are simply bolted together in concrete, which would have been an easier option. But we decided to do it in uh, in concrete blocks, uh, wooden floor built around the frames, all in the correct position. The picture of the robot is our actual robot being used as demonstration at the auction show. See you in part four.